The 12 South Asian Games were declared close in a glittering closing ceremony at Indira Gandhi Athletic Stadium in Guwahati. The Indian contingent topped the tally by winning 308 medals. The 12th South Asian Games were declared close in a glittering ceremony that saw performances by eight live bands from across the northeastern states. India's regional supremacy went unchallenged as the hosts were crowned overall champions for the 12th consecutive time after notching up a record-breaking haul of 188 gold, 90 silver and 30 bronze medals, taking the overall tally to 308. While Sri Lanka, with a total of 186 medals, came second, Pakistan begged third position with 106 medals. Afghanistan stood at fourth with a medal tally of 35, Bangladesh at fifth with 75 medals, Nepal secured sixth position with 60 medals, Maldives stands at seventh with a medal tally of three, and Bhutan stands at eighth with a total of 16 medals. Cycling, football, hockey, squash, volleyball were among 23 sport disciplines of which 16 were held in Kohati and 7 in Shillong. The hosting of the major international sporting event is a part of the government's efforts to develop India's northeast region. As we all know, uh, northeast, you know, is a, a state you know, is a lover of sports and uh, such, uh, you know, uh, for the uh, South Asian Games, uh, many of the stadiums has been, you know, uh, uh, has been uh, built and has been, you know, reconstructed again. And I guess, you know, uh, it will really help the uh, future and upcoming uh, sports persons as well uh, to take uh, sports more seriously. The two hosting cities, Gohati and Shillong, showcase the culture and heritage of Northeast India. The mega sports extravaganza will help boost the state's tourism besides pushing infrastructural growth. People of Northeast, especially the players, they have also got a very good opportunity to see how the games are being held. The athletics, we have very good athletes in the in this northeastern part of our country, especially in Meghalaya and Assam. So they have they have got a boost, and I think this will give a boost to our athletes who are residing in this part of this country. The objective of decentralizing sports to centers outside the metros is laudable, and the effort will boost economic growth and bring prosperity to the region making India a global destination for sports.